I'm so excited about today's topic because in today's video we're going to be talking about feminine hygiene so it's all about my ladies my beauties in the house if you know you're a married man you can share this video with your wife if you know you have a fiance you can share this video with her and you can also watch this video there's nothing there in order to like you know depending on the relationship you're having with your partner but with that being said let's quickly dive into the video feminine hygiene refers to the practice and product that help maintain cleanliness and health in the intimate area of a woman so proper hygiene is essential to prevent infection to prevent irritation to prevent odor proper hygiene ensure comfort and overall well-being of a woman i'm going to be sharing with you guys tips and guidelines for maintaining feminine hygiene so the first one on my list is daily wash as a woman i highly advise you to get a specialized ph balance intimate wash to avoid irritation and to avoid infection wash that area like i'm talking about your v i'm talking about the downside make sure you wash that area daily with a lake warm water if you are to use soap on that area like the side area i'm not talking about washing that place with make sure you use unscented soap a well-balanced ph soap and a very 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 mild soap don't go and be using the same bath soap you use in your bathroom to wash your body and use that soap and lather it to wash that area guys if you know you do that if you know that is what you have been doing and you have been experiencing some changes on your body some changes on that area is because of that soap you use to wash that area the second one on my list is menstrual cycle like when it comes to your menstrual cycle let me show you the one i use like i use this sanitary pad this is the current sanitary pad i'm using it comes in eight pieces with two little burns i'm going to open it and show you guys this is a new one that i've not used so sis this is how it comes you can see it this is how it comes and even though you are if you know you're a type that have every flow this can also serve you right but depending on any sanitary pad you are using it is fine but what i'm trying to say here is that if you are using sanitary pad if you are using menstrual cup are using tap on anyone you are using for your menstrual care all i want to say in this part is that make sure you change properly like you can change this your sanitary pad at least four hours or six every four hours or every six hours anyone that is comfortable to you and depending on how your menstrual flows that will determine how you are going to change it Make sure you always change your sanitary pad in order to prevent bacteria growing in that area you know what i'm saying to avoid odors and all that and when you are done using your sanitary pad maybe you want to change it make sure you properly wash your hand when you are done dispose this product in a very very hygienic way and in a very very responsible way let me know down in the comment section the current sanitary pad you are using but for me this is the one i'm currently using and i super love it because it makes me feel comfortable so the next one on my list breathable underwears like avoid tight fitting underwears for now at least make that area to have some air now auntie sister mommy in the house don't be too <sighs> just like the way sometimes in life you just have to take some pause reset reorganize and all that there are sometimes you just have to allow that area to you to receive some fresh air go for underwears that are cutting and if you know you're a type that normally wear tight clothes you know that your lap is going to, you know your lap is going to come together like this even though when you are walking so there is no space that air is going to penetrate into that area because you also need air in that area if you close that area and maybe it's just closed like this by the time you open it the kind of smell that is going to come out most especially if you are having some maybe some medical issue like infection and all that like std and you are closing that area wearing tight clothes all in the name of you want to do fashion sister hmm by the time you open it like this it's gonna do what it's going to do well so in order to avoid that please for now at least once in a while go for something very very comfortable wear something very comfortable wear a cotton order wear hydration and diet it's very very good to take a lot of water during the day drink a lot of water in order to flush all of those dead all of those yama yama let me use this english 
So in order to clean all of those deaths in your system, take enough water during the day. And at least as a lady, we will advise you to incorporate yogurt into your diet. Yogurt is very, very good for the system. So take enough yogurt as a lady. So this is a bonus tip. So if you know you have been taking yogurt, at least you are doing well. But if you know you don't really take yogurt, start incorporating yogurt into your diet it is very very healthy and it make that your v area to be very very healthy you know what i'm saying next one on my list is after bathroom use like when you are done using the bathroom and you want to clean your down area don't wash from back to front instead you wash from front to back let me use this as an example let's say this is your down area this is your down area if you are done using the bathroom and you want to clean your V area, you want to clean your down area, don't clean from back to front. Or don't wash from back to front. Instead, you wash from front to back. In order not to make bacteria from the back to enter your V area and you'll be experiencing infection and bacteria. In order to avoid that, this, very, this place is very, very sensitive whenever you are doing anything in that area so you need to wash from front to the back and when you are done washing whenever you want to clean that your v area make sure you tap it instead of rubbing it you tap that area dry with a clean towel in order to avoid skin irritation that is why i say you pat it dry the next one is sexual hygiene as a woman even with your partner i will advise you and i will highly advise in order to keep this your hygiene properly you need to take a bath or you need to wash before and after having intimacy and urinating after having intimacy in order to prevent infection in order to prevent utis if you don't think maybe as a lady you should be the only one to maintain yourself to do your personal hygiene both of you have to do your personal hygiene in order to stay ld you are the only one doing the hygiene and your partner is not doing the hygiene it's going to even cause more bacteria to yourself so in order to prevent that hygiene properly both of you have to be maintaining your personal hygiene so the last one on my list is regular checkup regular checkup if you know you have been experiencing some unusual symptoms like infection discharge and odor on that v area you need to go and see a gynecologist start to do a proper test on your body in order to do a proper test on that area for you to have a proper medication in order to prevent all of that and to stop all of those irritation all of those symptoms you have been seen on that area which is not there before so it is very very important so i really hope you find this video very very useful if you do let me know down in the comment section if you have any question let me know down in the comment section and if you want to be seeing more of a video like this let me also know down in the comment section i'm always here for you guys and i'm going to see you guys in the next very one and remember that feminine hygiene is very very important Personal hygiene is very, very important and take that area very, very serious as a woman. Stay blessed and peace. Bye.